Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Crypto.com and their CRO token. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. Now, if you haven't seen the previous update, make sure to check it out. It's going to be in the top right hand corner. There's going to be a lot of stuff in there that I'm not going to be repeating in this video. So it's good if you have more context with these updates. Now, jumping into the daily chart. So you can see we have two Fibonacci retracements set up. So one is this large one with a 1.618 target at 83 cents. And we've met that target perfectly. We were able to lay down these Fibonacci retracements way down over here. Once I started covering crypto.com, we were sitting around these 14, 13 cents areas. And basically from this swing low, you made 903% gains. And as you can see, you were caught up in this range. You tighten up, tighten up, tighten up, and you explode it. Okay, so I'm going to show you a couple of little little support zones, a couple of uh, resistance zones that I'm eyeballing right now. And you have your uh, smaller fib level over here. So the smaller fib level is what we are going to look at right now. So you have your swing high over here, November 23rd. That is where we created our all time high, actually. And you have your swing low here, November 16th. Ignore this large wick we are not going to be looking at that large wick so you have this yellow rectangle support zone from the 37 point uh 37 81 cents all the way down to 34 5 3 cents that is your uh swing low from this small fibonacci retracement and that is the swing high of this higher support level as you can see so i've highlighted that area in between them that is going to be your crucial support area because once you broke out through this level over here, once you broke through this level, right, you never had that back test of support. So I'm looking for a back test of support at 34 cents. Yes, that is quite the pullback from the all time high. But trust me, things like this do happen. You broke out, got to the 1.618 target. Now you're looking for a back test of support and 34 cents or 34 and a half cents is the perfect area to have that bounce. Not saying it's going to happen, right? Just because I say that it potentially can happen doesn't mean that it will happen. But I'm just making you aware of the fact that there's that possibility because we haven't had that back test of support. So potentially have some buy orders ready at this area. And, uh, you know, while you're asleep, they the orders can get filled because a flash crash can come at any point in time. So you're not going to be expecting it. Uh, next up, we have this support trend line that we've been holding since June. As you can see, each time we have a bounce off of this trend line, we have a move to the upside. Here we broke out. And potentially what's going to happen if we lose this swing high at 34 cents, you're potentially going to land on this white trend line and you're still going to adhere to the uptrend. You're going to create a low, a higher low, you have your high over here, and you're potentially going to get to the second fib level at $1.43. And that's going to be your higher high. So you're potentially just going to uh, continue with the uptrend. But that doesn't mean that you can't have these pullbacks. So like I said, all the way from 38 to 34.5 cents is your major support zone that you want to hold. But if you lose that, I would look at the white trend line. Now, if you start losing this white trend line over here, you keep bouncing on it, but then you start losing it. That's when you're going to be breaking or losing a crucial support. You're going to be losing a key level of support. And that means that you're potentially going to break the trend. And that means that you're potentially going to land on a lower support zone. And that would be 25 cents over here. Uh, just over there, just above 25 cents. So let's say 25.5 roughly cents is your next crucial support area because you've held that area as resistance twice, actually. So yeah, look for that. That is potentially your, uh, your, uh, you know, lowest support zone that you want to look for. But below that, we have another support area that we haven't back tested as support. So as you can see, Resistance over here, you come back down, hit your head two times on this level, then you break above it and you haven't had a back test of this white trend line, which can also be the case over here. We potentially can have a back test of this white trend line over here. So we have one white trend line, you have the second white trend line in between, you have the 786 on the fib, and you have your 
swing low and swing high from both of the Fibonacci levels. So those are your support levels. Keep an eye on those support levels. Have buy orders on all of these support levels because with these huge wicks like you have over here, you can just have that one huge wick to this white trend line, quick recovery above the first fib level here, and that's where you continue on with the uptrend. So yeah, that's just that's just how it can potentially play out. Doesn't mean that it's gonna play out like that. I'm just letting you know that that's what I'm looking at potentially. Now let's zoom in on this smaller fib. I what is going on here? Uh, let's zoom in on the smaller fib. You can see that I gave you this 786 support on the smaller fib, right? And this is 45, just below 46 cents over here. And as you can see, we're just below the zone right now. So we're losing this 786 support. And this means that we're potentially going to land on a next support level, or we're just going to have a little bottoming out area over here. That is also, you know, that is also a possibility. Depends on how the pullback right now plays out. So anywhere from 44 cents to 42.5 is a level that we can potentially bounce from. But if we start losing this level, I would look at this 37, 38 to 34.5 level as your next crucial support area. Yeah, that's that's what I'm looking at. A lot of support levels, guys, but I just want you to know everything that you need to know in order to, you know, get the best deal on crypto.com. Overall, I think it's going to be it's going to be great. I think it's going to enter the top five cryptos. That's their target. They're pouring a lot of money into marketing. So one to two dollars, this bull market, I think, is very, very doable. Now, let's quickly jump into the RSI. So uh, let's look what we have over here. So you have your green trend line. That is our resistance trend line because we've been holding it as support since June, uh, since May, actually. Then we lost it. Now it's our resistance. Uh, you have this white trend line over here, as you can see, we're, we're holding it as resistance right now because we have been holding it as support previously. We lost it, hence why it's a resistance now. You also have this 35.7 RSI index. That is your support zone, and you've held this zone multiple times over here. Look at all these bounces from this white trend line. So potentially look for a bounce off of this white trend line that would be a great entry point on the daily RSI. Regardless of the price, you can actually trade based on the RSI as well. This is a momentum-based oscillator that tells you whether an asset is overbought or oversold. Once you're below the index of 30, you're oversold. Once you're below, once you're above the index of 70, you are overbought. So yeah, like I said, 35.7, great, or 35.5, I, I should say. That is a great entry point. If you start losing that, you're probably going to enter the overbought uh, or the oversold zone. I do apologize. I mix them up constantly. It's annoying. So if you end up in this oversold or here below the index of 30, that's a great entry point. I would buy in as much crypto.com tokens as possible because from there, the recovery will be uh, a lot quicker, right? Because once you get oversold, you usually have those relief rallies soon after. But that's it for the daily RSI. You have your resistance at 60.8. Everything is the same as it was on the previous updates. So make sure you copy all the support and resistance levels. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so it's easier for you to see. But let's move into KuCoin. Now, jumping into KuCoin. So I did give you this little range over here that we were in. Now, this is by no, by any means a uh, a falling wedge, right? I, at least I don't think it's a falling wedge just because of how big it is, right? It's too big to be a falling wedge. You have this huge gap over here. Uh, if you want to, you know, if you want to think of it as a falling wedge, yes, you can. And you can have your targets over here where the falling wedge was created at 68 cents because you have, you know, a lot of touches over here from both levels. So you can consider this a falling wedge. But as you can see, you're approaching the approaching the apex over here and potentially you're going to land on the 1.272 at 42 and a half cents from there you're going to explode because you're going to break this resistance that was keeping us down all the way here uh, back in december so this is a fibonacci retracement with a swing high over here in december the swing low in december as well and this gives us the 1.618 target at 35 and a half cents to the downside and we've lost our fib one our level one and once you break through the level one on the Fibonacci you're in a technical target to the 1.618 so what can happen as well is you tighten up over here and you actually drop all the way down here and start consolidating on these lower levels that is also a possibility you know don't think just because you are in a sort of range or 
whether you're in a triangle or, or you're in a bullish pattern, that doesn't mean that you're going to break to the upside, right? There's always the potential that you're going to break to the downside. Uh, sometimes what happens is you break to the downside, but then you break to the upside real quick and soon after, and then you actually take out your technical target. You know, anything can happen. I'm just letting you know that we do have a target to the downside here at 35 and a half cents based on this Fibonacci retracement with the targets to the downside. So yeah, that's something that I'm looking at right now. Uh, we lost the first Fib level. That's why I'm looking at the 1.618. So uh, on the four hourly chart, let's see what's going on over here on the stochastic RSI. You are oversold. So great entry points right now as well. If we take a look at the bearish cross over here, we have created a bearish cross on the four hourly chart, uh, December 29th. From there, we are in a downtrend. So yeah, let's see. We're, we're breaking we're not breaking we're hitting our head on the four hourly 20 ema constantly so that can potentially be a nice sell uh, sell order for you if you want to buy off potentially let's say this 1.272 then you can sell once you come up to the four hourly 20 ma and take quick profits that can be a nice little trade for you but that is pretty much it guys if i missed out anything on the charts please let me know down below in the comment section i'm gonna catch you in the next one make sure to check out our telegram chat our discord server and we have a patreon with great low cap jump calls buy and sell alerts recently pokedex did a 50 percent on our buy alert in the patreon and we have a lot more stuff in there so make sure to check it out links are in the description i'm gonna catch you in the next one goodbye and good night